that is provoking the anger. You are angry because you are afraid. You are angry because you are afraid. You are angry because you are afraid. Afraid of what? Losing something. Afraid of what? Death to your reputation. Death to your relationship. You are afraid of losing your job, afraid of being embarrassed, afraid of being exposed. So you get angry. Anger is how you weaponize your fear. Anger is the weaponization of fear. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? And let me say this to you. Your ego is always afraid of something. Because your ego operates. Your ego operates in the realm of success and failure. All your ego knows is success and failure. Your ego don't know anything else. So if you are an ego-based African, if you are a narcissistic, ego-based African, if your whole life is about what you own and how you appear to other people. I know you deal with a lot of anger, a lot of fear, a lot of frustration, a lot of rage. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's not a healthy life. Our gangster rappers, they don't live a healthy life. Our gangster rappers, they don't live a happy life. Have you seen some of these Negroes off the stage? Have you seen some of these Negroes off the stage? They are the nastiest, most disrespectful, most fear-based, most anger-based Negroes you will meet in your life because spirit doesn't function off of image and merchandise. Spirit doesn't function off of image and merchandise. This is why when you out here dating, mating, and cohabitating, Hopefully, no snow bunnying. When you out here dating, mating, and cohabitating, you got to do an assessment. How materialistic is this person? Because I don't care how much Jesus they claim. I don't care how much Muhammad they claim. If they are caught up in how they look beyond what is acceptable, if they are overly attached to their public image, if they are overly attached to what they own and control, you are dealing with an emotionally unhealthy people. Your whole relationship will be a cycle of anger, fear, depression. Angle, anger, fear, depression. And these people are so miserable and so spiritually unwise. So miserable and so spiritually unwise that they think the way to escape their anger, fear, and depression is to go buy more stuff. They're so spiritually unwise, they think the way to escape anger, fear, and depression is to go buy more stuff. Maybe I need a better car. Maybe I need a bigger house. Maybe I need a woman with a fatter ass. Maybe I need a man with a better body. Maybe I need a new car. That's because they are caught up in the illusion of European capitalism. And the illusion of European capitalism, the illusion of European capitalism says happiness is a function of what you own. European capitalism, the, 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 the psychology of European capitalism says happiness is a function of what you own and what you do. Ha according to the white power, this is the white man's pseudo spirituality. The cave dwellers pseudo spirituality. Happiness is based on on what you own and what you do. So when you come across Negroes who have the who have been possessed by the demonic spirit of European capitalism, 
when you come across Negroes who have been possessed with the demon of European capitalism, you better run the other direction. You better run in the other direction. A Negro who is all about what I own and what I do is a miserable Negro. A miserable Negro. Oh, yes. First time I meet a sister, I'm looking at how important is the Louis bag? How important are the Steve Madden high heels? If you got to walk out your house every day with a wig on your head, you are not at peace with God. If you got to walk out your house with a wig on your head every day, you are not at peace with your spirit. And if you are not at peace with yourself, you cannot be at peace with me. If we cannot be organically African together, if you have to be artificial every day of this relationship, if you have to be artificial every day of this relationship. If you have to be artificial every day of this relationship, this is a relationship I don't need. Stay away from Negroes who are possessed with the spirit of European capitalism. Brothers and sisters, we live in an unhealthy world. We live in an unhealthy society. I don't care if you in Africa, I don't care if you in Asia, I don't care if you are in Australia or Canada. I don't care if you're in South America or the Caribbean. I don't care if you are in Central America or any of the 50 American African states. We do not live in a healthy world. We don't. So your everyday life is a struggle to find spiritually balance. Your everyday life is a struggle to find spiritual balance amongst a world possessed with demons. Your everyday life is a struggle to find balance amongst a world filled with demons. You better make sure you're not sleeping next to a demon. You better make sure you're not engaged to a demon. You better make sure you're not about to make a baby with a demon. You better make sure you're not about to move in with a demon. Oh, yes. Spiritually famished African people. We have spiritually famished African people. We have a spiritual Famine. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Depleted souls. We got African people with depleted soul. They don't feed the soul. They feed the body. They feed the skin. They feed the flesh. They feed the lust. They feed the hair. They don't feed the spirit. A man cannot live by bread alone. Feed your spirit every day. You must do something spiritual. Every day, you must do something spiritual. Every day, you must do something spiritual. Feed your soul. You feed your body breakfast, lunch, and dinner three times a day. You have sex with your wife once or twice a day. You spend time with your kids every day. You hang out with your frat brothers and your uh, sorors every weekend. When the last time you fed your soul? When the last time you spent some time with your spirit, brothers and sisters? Stress is about risk, threat, and loss. Stress is not inside of you. You create it. Stress is not inside of you. You create it. Stress is not inside of you. You create it. Stress is not inside of you. You create stress based on the way you process your experiences. You create stress based on the way you experience your life. You create stress by constantly assuming things are going to turn out for the worse. A stressed out Negro is a Negro with no faith in their ability to affect positive change 
in their future. A stressed out Negro is someone who has no faith in their ability to affect positive change in their future. If you got no stress, you have no faith. If you are stressed out, you have no faith. Stress is a lack of faith. You don't have faith in you. You don't have faith in God. If you had faith, you would not be so stressed out. Always worrying about how things are going to turn out. That's a sign of faithlessness. Always worried about how things are going to turn out. I hope this don't happen. I hope this don't happen. I hope it don't happen this way. I hope he don't leave me. I hope she don't leave me. I hope I don't lose my job. I hope I don't do this. Hope, hope. You're putting your faith in the devil. Pessimistic Africans are demon worshipers. Pessimistic Africans are demon worship. If you are pessimistic, which means you have faith in the devil, you have faith in evil, you have faith in the spirits of imbalance. If you are always confident that something's going to go wrong, you are a demon worshiper. I'm going to say it again. If you are always confident that something is going to turn out the wrong way, you are a demon worshiper. Stop putting faith in negativity. Put faith in positivity because as you sow, so shall you reap. As you sow, so shall you reap. As you sow, so shall you reap. So if you are planting the spiritual seed of failure, if you are planting psychologically the spiritual seed of failure, if you're planting that, in your mind, you will harvest that in your life. I'm going to say it again because I don't think you understand, overstand, and understand Professor Ifa Tunde this morning. I'm going to say it again because I don't think you understand, overstand, and understand Professor Ifa Tunde this morning. I'm going to say it again because I don't think you understand, overstand, or understand Professor Ifa Tunde this morning. Okay? When you sow negative thought, a thought is a seed that you plant in the soil of the subconscious mind. A thought is a seed that you plant in the subconscious soil of your mind. Your thought is a seed that you plant in the subconscious soil of your mind. When you plant that seed, you give a command to your subconscious. Your subconscious is the most powerful energy in your body. Your subconscious is the most powerful energy in your body. Your sub God gave you a subconscious and a conscious. Your conscious mind is weak. Your conscious mind is weak. Your conscious mind is easily influenced by what people say to you. Your conscious mind is easily influenced by what people think about you. Your conscious mind is easily influenced by the experiences you have every day. Your conscious mind is easily, easily subdued, manipulated, controlled. Oh, yes. But your subconscious mind is divine. It's divine. Whatever you tell it to do with your conscious thoughts it will do whatever you tell your unconscious mind to do. It will do. If you tell your unconscious mind, ladies, if you tell your unconscious mind, ladies, if you tell your unconscious mind, sisters, I am an unattractive black woman. I am ugly. I don't like my nose. It's not attractive. My skin color, my hair, my body shape. I am ugly. You just told your unconscious to create an atmosphere and an environment where the world will see you as you see yourself. I'm going to say it again. When the black woman or the black man tells your unconscious that I am ugly. I am unlovable. I am undesirable. You tell this to the God consciousness. You tell this to the God consciousness. And now God consciousness has to create a world that validates your thinking. Oh, yes. 
Your God consciousness is going to create the world that reflects your internal. See, let me explain something. Your internal and your external are harmoniously related to one another. Your inner life and your outer life are harmoniously related to each other. See, this is one of the reasons.